Hello, I am the Black Mormon Reader. I will be reading verses from the 19th chapter of First Nephi. The Lord commanded me to make a record of my people. I did engrave the records of my father and also of our journeys in the wilderness and the prophecies of my father and also many of my own of my own prophecies upon plates of brass. After I had made these plates, I, Nephi, received a commandment that the plain and precious parts of the ministries and prophecies should be written and kept as a record of instruction for my people. And this I have done and commanded my people that these plates should be handed down from one generation to another, from one prophet to another, until further commandments from God. I do not write anything upon these plates save it be I think it's sacred. For things which some men esteem to be of great worth, both to the body and soul, others set naught and trample under feet. Yea, even the very God of Israel, men trample under feet. They set him at naught, at zero, and hearken not to the voice of his counsel. But behold, he cometh according to the words of an angel in 600 years from the time my father left Jerusalem. And the world shall judge him to be a thing of note, a zero. They scrouge him, and he suffers it. They smite him, and he suffers it. They spat upon him, and he suffers it all because of his loving kindness and his long suffering towards the children of men and the God of our fathers of Abraham of Isaac and Jacob yielded himself into the hands of the wicked to be lifted up according to the words of Zenuk and to be crucified according to the words of Natum and to be buried in a tomb according to the words of Zenos. He spake concerning three days of darkness, a sign given of his death unto those who shall inhabit the isles of the sea of the land of promise. Who are the house of Israel? The those of the the land of promise of the house of the sea are of the house of Israel. For thus spoke the prophet, the Lord shall surely visit all the house of Israel at that day. And those who are in Jerusalem, says the prophet, they shall be scrouged by all the people because they crucified the God of Israel and turned their hearts aside, reject, rejecting signs and wonders and the power and the glory of the God of Israel. They shall perish and become a hiss and a byword and be hated among all nations. Nevertheless, when that day cometh, when they no more turn aside their hearts against the Holy One of Israel, he will remember the covenants which he made to their fathers. Then he will remember the land of promise and all the people who are, who are of the house of Israel. All the earth shall see the salvation of the Lord, saith the prophet, Every nation, kindred, tongue, and people shall be blessed. I, Nephi, 
have written these things unto my people that perhaps I might persuade them that they should remember the Lord. I Nephi did teach my brethren these things, did read many things to them which were engraven upon the plates of brass. And I did read many things unto them which were written in the books of Moses. But I, that I, might fully persuade them to believe in the Lord. I spake unto them, saying, Hear ye the words of the prophets. Hear ye who are the remembrance, who, who are the remnants <laughs> of the house of Israel, a branch which, had, which has been broken off. Hear ye the words of the prophet, which were written unto, the, unto all the house of Israel. I will stop here with a question. Just who are the members of this house of Israel? How big is this house of Israel? And on that note, this is the Black Mormon Reader. Until next time.